Yo, Rex Farms here, welcome back to another video. So today, what I've got for you is episode two of Seaside Signings. Now, in this episode, we're going to be discussing three new signings that the Seasiders have acquired over the past week. Those three signings being Ryan Edwards from Plymouth, Jamie Devitt from Carlisle, and Ben Tollett from Tranmere Rovers. Now, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but an episode of this series is not just going to be about one signing. It can be about multiple if we sign different players in quick succession, like we have at the moment, signing three players over the last week. So I just thought I'd make it into one big episode instead of doing three separate videos, which would just be pointless. Before we get into the video, if you do enjoy, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's get into it. So the first signing the Seasiders have acquired is Plymouth Argyle captain and defender Ryan Edwards. Now in my personal opinion, this is a fantastic signing. Despite the fact Plymouth were harshly relegated from League One on the last day, Edward was a commanding centre-back for them. Many Plymouth fans say that he is going to be a big loss for their side or from those that I've spoke to or seen. Now, Edwards did actually score four or five goals for Plymouth last season, including a header against Blackpool in our 2-2 draw at Bloomfield Road. Most of Edwards' goals came from corners, although a few were shots from the edge or outside of the box. Edwards is also a tall, commanding centre-back who would be a good leader in the side and definitely a good replacement for Ben Hennigan. Now, overall, I think this is a fantastic signing. Despite being relegated with Plymouth on the final day, I think Edwards is definitely League One quality, hence the fact that he came back to a League One club and didn't drop down to League Two with Plymouth. Hopefully Edwards can play a key part in next season's playoff push and hopefully contribute with some goals whilst keeping them out. So the Seasiders' second signing of the episode is Jamie Devitt from Carlisle United, who has impressively won their Players' Player of the Season for the last two years in a row. Devitt can play anywhere across midfield. According to FIFA, he is a right midfielder, but has been playing in the number 10 role for Carlisle this season and just all around in the midfield. He did score 12 goals and get 7 assists in League 2, which is quite impressive for a midfielder and hopefully can bring some of his quality to League 1. Now hearing from what Carlisle fans have to say about this, most of them are absolutely gutted and you know ashamed that the club had just let him go and not offered him a new deal. Or he may have turned it down, it depends. I think they didn't go about it in the right fashion, I heard some Carlisle fans saying. But, you know, it's a great steal for us. Hopefully he can turn up in League One. He looks like a quality player after seeing some of his goals on Blackpool's Twitter from last season, including a few free kicks, set pieces and goals from outside the box. So, again, I think this is another good sign-in. A proven quality player in the Football League, winning Players' Player of the Year two years in a row for a promotion challenge in League Two side. It's definitely time for him to move up a division into League One. So, you know, hopefully this proves to be a, another great signing for the Seasiders. These are just some of the comments I've seen from Carlisle fans on Twitter after Devitt signing for Blackpool. We'll miss him a lot. Great signing for you lot. He'll rip through League One. So hopefully those comments do come true. And hopefully he can help us in a promotion push next year. And the final player Blackpool have signed for this episode is winger Ben Tollett from Tranmere Rovers. Now, I'm not really too familiar with this lad. Although I do know he was out alone on Wrexham earlier this season or last season. Correct me if I'm wrong. And they were saying he's the only bright spark in their attack. You know, he's quick, direct, pacey. So I'm not sure whether we're going to be keeping him or sending him out on loan for a season. So we'll have to see what happens. He could be good in League 1. Hopefully he turns up. I know he hasn't played that many games in League 2. But we, we don't know what to expect until we've seen him play. So hopefully another good signing. I think, again, any team that says, you know, a player's good that signed for you or he was good for them, despite the fact Wrexham are a National League side, you know, that's good in all just to hear that he's hopefully a good player. And, you know, if we do send him out and develop him, then maybe he could turn into a great player in a few years. Again, I do think this is another good signing. Maybe not as promising as the other two, but he is a player with very good potential that we can potentially develop and turn into a good player in the coming seasons. So that's going to be it for the second episode of Seaside Signings. Sorry I was only briefly talking about the players because I don't want to be here all day boring you guys. But thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.